Right, we've got the two bathtub system here kicking along. It's been uh, up and running a couple of months over winter. The growth has been pretty good and we want to expand now. Two's good, but we think more might be better. All right, let's see what we can do with these babies. We've been looking at this space here, we've got a nice north facing wall here which is important in Australia, it allows us to get a lot of sun. It'll be good for spring and we'll probably have to look at a bit of shading during the height of summer but you know, this is a wasted space here in this house, not doing anything. So let's um, put some aquaponics in here and get a really, really nice garden going in what would otherwise be an empty space. Looks like a bit of a mess here at the moment, but we got our basic layout first. We know exactly how we're going to do it, and it's just a matter of putting it together. It looks a bit messy, but hang around, it's going to come together very nicely. doing here is, uh, this one here is going to be our fish tank slash sump. So everything drains back into here. This is where our fish are going to be living as well. You can see the pump in here and you can see the auto siphon has just kicked in. So this is our grow bed. We've got our uh, clay beads in here. This is where our friendly bacteria sets up. And um, we'll be planting that out with uh, herbs. These two up here are going to be floating raft systems. This one will be for growing some vegetables, mainly lettuce. And we've set one up just purely for seedlings. So you can see we've got the uh, foam there, we've cut it out quite close together. So this is where we'll have our seedlings, we'll finish our lettuce off in here and in our, in our grow bed. And we'll grow some nice silver perch down in our fish tank there. Set up our system outside. Now we want to cycle that for a little while and let everything settle, get a lot of the clay and stuff out of it, and so we can, um, you know, set up the, pl the plumbing properly. It needs a little bit of work. Um, we're using different fish. In our first system, we put in goldfish because they're really hardy, really hard to kill. They've been going pretty well, but you can't eat them, obviously. We've gone this time for some fish that you can eat. Now these are Australian silver perch. Bidianus Bidianus is their scientific name, and they're only little these fellas, but uh, they're fantastic. They're a schooling fish, so they go really well in a system like this. They are uh, omnivorous, so they'll eat uh, you know, plants and animals, and they go particularly well on fish food. They are the best fish in Australia for aquaponics or keeping in a, in a system like this. You won't have any problems with them, they're fantastic. We're leaving them in this fish tank for a couple of days. Uh, we want to uh, make them friendly, acclimatise to us and our system to settle over there. So we'll set up a little fish tank here. And look at those little beauties, they're going to go fantastic. In about 18 months time, depending on all the different variables, food, temperature, etc. They will be plate size and ready to eat. Hardly wait. Been a couple of days we've let the system cycle just to clean it up a little bit so the fish tank's really clean now so we're going to uh, we're going to add our fish just got a little cover there to keep the birds and the cats away give them a little bit of a shelter there so they should be nice and happy in their, new, their fish tank we widen all the aeration the grow bed's ready to go. 
We've got the floating rafts, just let them sort of settle and see that there was no leaks and it's all draining well. We've got aeration in there as well, so time to put in the beds. Okay, the floating raft, we've got this one as we said before for our seedlings, all pretty densely packed in there. And this one's going to be for our lettuces and probably grow some tomatoes up the back of this one. Just put a little bit of a rack here just to uh, run the tomatoes up the wall there, probably only four, four or so tomato plants here, we'll see how we go. So that's pretty much it, now it's time to get some plants in and get things growing and we'll keep you posted with some video updates.